Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care, coming right here from Raleigh. And just as I promised you in our last episode about contact lenses, this week I would like to explain monovision in detail, which is a great solution for people over 45 years old that have trouble seeing or reading up close. This is called age-related focus dysfunction, and it happens to everyone, and when it does, you would have to start using reading glasses or have a bifocal placed in your glasses, which gives an up-close reading range. Monovision is an excellent alternative to this, and in order to fit someone for monovision, first we must determine which eye is their dominant eye. The dominant eye would be used by a lot of people to take a picture when they hold a camera, but now that we have a lot of digital cameras, a lot of people are taking pictures further away and are not sure which eye they use exactly when they take a picture. So one easy way to determine this is to take your thumb, hold it out, and cover over an object in the distance, like a doorknob, and then close one eye at a time, then close the other eye, and whichever eye is open when it's still covered, that's your dominant eye. For me, is my left eye. So with monovision, we set the dominant eye for distance, and then we set the non-dominant eye for up close or reading. This can be done with contact lenses, it can be done with LASIK, or it could be done with lens implants placed inside the eye at the time of cataract surgery. With any of these, we just set the goals like that, one eye for distance, one eye for up close, and then with the combination of the vision in both eyes, it can give someone the full range of vision. Many people think that this could be very disorienting or leave the eyes too much out of balance, but in fact, 80% of people are very successful with monovision and only about 20% of people end up not liking it. In fact, my father-in-law uses monovision all the time because he's a little bit nearsighted and he only puts a contact lens in one eye to correct it for distance. That way, his other eye is left uncorrected and gives him reading range. And the only time that he likes to reverse the monovision or put a contact lens in both eyes to see distance is when he plays tennis because that way he can see the ball and get the sharpest vision that he can. But when people are using monovision, it can be very freeing for them because they get that full range of vision without having to use the reading glasses or using glasses with bifocal. You can tell I think monovision is a great solution and I love it, uh, but for some people who are not successful with it, they could end up trying a multifocal contact lens or uh, we also have multifocal lens implants, which are different technology, but those are an excellent solution as well. If you have any questions or comments about monovision, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you, and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.